Hello Virgos. This is your reading for the 15th through the 31st. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, let's get this thing started. Virgo. What's going on in love for my Virgos? What's going on around Virgos for the remainder of the month? You have a Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, very confident individual. This is somebody that takes care of everybody that's in their circle and beyond their circle. Okay. They do it all energetically with confidence. <laughs> this person's attracted to, let's see. What's crossing my Virgos? Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. What's crossing you guys is I feel you're questioning whether you should remain with someone or should you wait on someone. Is the, is the deal here. Um, the Queen of Wands usually doesn't wait on anybody, to be honest with you. She keeps moving. Very active, um, very confident, confident in herself, confident in, in the way that she feels and thinks, okay? She goes with the flow. She's ever-changing. So, waiting uh, is kind of counter Queen of Wands <laughs> to be honest with you um, it's more of a earth thing to do earthy thing to do to wait and you are a Virgo okay now the person that you are dealing with may be again a fire energy or either this is you guys you know having fire in your chart you may be on the Leo cusp here but I'm getting the sense that there's something in you that's wanting to move there's something in you that's that is questioning whether or not um, this is a good situation for you currently Let's see what the underlying issue is here. What is the underlying issue for Virgo? Judgment. Scorpio energy. Mm. Underlying issue is that you have not made a decision one way or the other. Do you stay or do you go? What do you want? Um, I feel like a lot of you are biding your time. Okay, you are, I, I'm feeling like, you know, this is a situation that you've been facing for a while now, and you, you, you've kind of been like putting this decision on the back burner, because you know that whatever you decide is going to have long-term consequences, so um, you're not making any hasty decisions. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Eight of Swords, a lot of anxiety, thinking about things from the past, things that have happened, things that this person has done to you, um, things that have transpired between the two of you, feeling trapped mentally with no way out. It's like you're feeling that you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Like no matter what you decide, um, initially is not going to feel good. Something flipped over there. Let's see what that is. Here again we have Scorpio and we have Taurus energy. Hmm. I feel that your whoever your counterpart is here, um, is changing there's something in them that's transforming they have there's something here that has ended and I don't know if it is it may involve someone else 
does not have to involve someone else but there's something that they have put an end to and I feel like this person is ready to have an equal exchange with you whether you believe it or not it's a different question okay it's a different thing um, because I don't know what you've been through I don't know what they they put you through okay but I feel that they have ended something something had to end um, and they knew it in order for them to try and turn a situation around with you okay let's see what your crowning thoughts are oh a lot of cards want to flip over here crowning thoughts for Virgo five of swords you're angry you're angry I'm kind of feeling at this point you guys you know even though you're here mentally you're out you're probably physically still there for some of you but mentally you're out you're done you're angry I feel like this person um, has, has done a lot of things to basically turn you away and now you're at the point where it's almost like you flipped the switch. Now you're at a point where you don't give a shit, really, um, whether you're there or not. It's like it's like you have involvement with them, whether you guys are physically involved or not. But it's like um, you really could give a rat's ass at this point. You've invested a lot. I feel like you've given way too much of yourself is what the problem is here. Let's see what's coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. For Virgo. What's coming in for Virgo? Ace of Swords. You speaking your truth. You speaking your truth. There's a lot of things that that are going to hit you like an aha moment type of deal. Um, and I think you will you will speak your truth so you can move on if that's what you want to do or you will speak your truth so that you can move on with this person but the bottom line here keywords are speaking your truth okay and not <clears throat> not speaking out of anger but how you just truly feel <clears throat> not when you're arguing some cards just fell out here. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. In and out. Angry. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Some days are good. Some days are horrible. I don't even know if some days are really, really that good. But you can deal with it. And then other days, it's like you just want to explode with anger. I feel like this this is definitely indicative of your situation right right now. It's like you don't you're in it, and then you're out of it. You want to be with them, you don't. You can find everything in the world why you should not be with this person, but yet and still, I feel like you are continuing to wait and invest in this situation. See how Virgo's feeling about this situation. How is Virgo feeling about this situation? King of Wands. You feel like you're in control of it? That you you are not wearing your emotions on your sleeve? Um, you are the one that decides you know whether this is going to continue or whether it's going to stop. You feel like you're in control of it. You have the last say so. Let's see. What is the influence for Virgo? Your stability. Four of Wands. Your happiness. I feel like this is more stability, more of the commitment that that you have made with this individual that's keeping you um, like keeping you from making a decision one way or the other. Keeping you there 
don't want to move homes, don't want to divorce, um, don't want to completely separate. I feel like the whole relationship deal is what's keeping you there, not being single. Hmm. It's what's influencing you. This may be a same-sex relationship, does not have to be. <clears throat> Let's see. Hopes or fears for Virgo. The moon. Hmm. I think you're you're wanting to get off this roller coaster ride, actually. With this moon energy. Your emotions can be all over the place, as we saw with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Um, flare ups between the two of you, just not having the stability that um, Virgos normally like. You know, <clears throat> I feel like you have taken on um, a lot of responsibilities in this relationship mothering the relationship here hmm. I feel like you guys wonder how this person truly feels about you as well let's see what the overall outcome is here I know you have deep feelings for this person and the feelings are still there on um, both sides but there's something I feel that um, this person does, and I don't think I don't think is is I don't think they're very stable, or you feel like they're not stable. You feel like they're hiding things as well. You kind of want things to come to light, and I think that when things come to light, it will help you to make the decision that you already know that you need to make. Okay. The overall outcome for Virgo. The overall outcome for Virgo. Page of Swords. Hmm. Page of Swords. You know, the Page of Swords is looking right at the Five of Swords here. I think that you will definitely have a conversation with this individual, and I don't think it's going to be hasty. I think you know now how to um, approach conversations with this person without having a blow up. <clears throat> and I think you will speak your truth. I think that you know the conversations, you won't let them cross a line to where um, you're insulting them or allowing them, allowing them to insult you. So I see you trying to figure things out for the betterment of both of you. Okay, so we have Aquarius, I feel Pisces, Cancer, Taurus is here, um, Scorpio is here, Gemini, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.